Losing someone who is dear to you, be it a friend or a family member, is a traumatizing experience. People suffering from depression or other disorders leave all hope in their lives and find suicide to be their last resort. But the problem really arises when they express it to their family members or friends. The person who is approached doesn't actually know how to address the situation. There is genuine worry, of course, but they don't know how to address this worry. A mental health professional or volunteers at suicide helplines know what to say or do, but they're not available for 24 hours throughout the day. That's why understanding how to communicate with our loved ones, ourselves, is so important. If you feel you're not quite sure how to talk to a loved one who is suffering, we can try and figure it out together in today's podcast. I am Anshika Jha, a psychologist at Mind Tribe, and I will be talking about how we can initiate conversations with people suffering from suicidal tendencies. Things you can do to help them are show concern. It's very important to show genuine concern for their situation. People feeling suicidal generally withdraw from society, including people and things they enjoyed. First of all, remind yourself that it's not personal to you, but their battle with their own mind. They feel like a burden to the society and they think it's better to keep their thoughts to themselves. Prove that misconception wrong by actively asking them how they are and being available for them. This will let them know that you are there and that they are not as alone as they thought. Ask them. Many people don't ask the person because they think it will instigate the situation. They might even think they are adding fuel to the fire in their heads. But it's very important to ask them these uncomfortable questions. And please notice your discomfort here too. If you feel any sort of discomfort when asking these questions, try to put them aside. You can ask them questions about what they are thinking about suicide, at what time these thoughts come, what is making them think about suicide, Are they planning to do any such thing that might harm them? Asking them about it will not instigate the situation. Rather, it will give them an outlet to speak. This will help get the heavy emotions out in the open and into a safe space where the fire can be extinguished. Don't argue. Usually, the first instinct of ours is arguing. We tell them that there are so many good things in the world or think about your family, etc. But these things are perceived as an attack. Usually, people feeling suicidal consider these things on their own and feel immense guilt about it. Even though it is well-intentioned, it ends up provoking negative feelings in them. That's not what either of you want. Instead of arguing or giving reasons to them, be there with them and take care of them. Let them know that they are not alone. Take professional help. In these cases, professional help is very important. If the person is not going to a psychiatrist or a psychologist, then urge them to contact one. If not, then take them to a mental health professional yourself. It's very important for them to know that they have different kinds of support. Psychologists and psychiatrists can provide direct interventions for behaviors that are interfering with life. Don't leave them alone. This is very important as it's the time that they are feeling lonely and vulnerable. It's a time of need and care. It's alright to take a break for your own mental health from time to time. And it's even 
recommend it. But make sure they're with someone. People with extreme suicidal tendencies may be a harm to themselves. And having someone there would help curb the urges to indulge in any such activities. Listen to them. Lastly, it's very important for you to listen to what they are saying. Doesn't have to make sense to you. It's their experience. You just have to be there to support them while they go through this experience. Listening to them empathetically and without judgment helps them a lot. And patiently listen to them and understand their feelings and emotions. It becomes a matter of great grief if we lose someone like this or to this. Hence, if you or someone you know is suicidal, then please visit a psychologist nearby and as soon as possible.